In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install MX bikes with Max HUD Minimap Overlay and all sorts of custom mods like custom tracks and bikes onto your Mac in 2025. So you're really gonna need four things to complete this tutorial today. We're gonna need to download Max HUD. We're gonna need to download Crossover. And if you already have MX bikes installed and you wanna preserve your mods, your tracks, all of that, you're gonna need to do one more step with me. The links for Max HUD and Crossover will be in the description. So check those out and download those now before we get started so you can follow along. If you've already had MX bikes installed on whiskey, wine, or any other way of doing this, you'll want to back up your mods folder before moving forward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my MX Bikes backup folder. This is a brand new folder I've made. I'm going to pull up my old MX Bikes install. And I'm literally going to drag everything from here into my backup folder. And I will delete the cache. That's it. That's all I need to do to back up my old tracks and mods. Let's proceed with installing Crossover for the very first time. We're gonna go ahead and double click this crossover zip file. Again, the website for this is in the description. This is by a company called Code Weavers. I'm gonna to go to desktop here. You'll notice I opened it. This opens up here. Just drag it into applications. Then I'll go to my applications and I'll open crossover. Click open. This is the limited time trial version of crossover. It will stop working in 11 days. That's fine. Hit try now. Now type in Steam. Click on it. Took me a double click. And then you'll hit install here. Once you see it installing, just prompt yes. Welcome to Steam Setup. And at this point, you'll see that we have a Windows application running successfully on our Mac. Hit run Steam. It'll update Steam. Once the Steam update is finished, we'll move on to the next part of installation where we'll actually install MX Bikes. Here we go. I'll go ahead and sign in with my Steam mobile app. And just like that, Steam is up and running here. We'll go ahead and X that out. If you haven't already, go to MX Bikes and purchase this. I have already. So we're gonna go to MX Bikes here in my library. Click install. Let it create all of that. While we're waiting, check out some gameplay for my brand new video game, MX Mobile Sim. It's a motocross simulator available for your iOS device or Android device. Check it out at mxmobilesim.com. It's coming for free to a device near you very soon. And our download's complete. We'll go ahead and spin one lap. You need to spin one lap to create your documents folder that you're gonna store all of your mods in. Oh my goodness, MX bikes with no mods, no nothing. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and get those mods installed. We'll be right back. Next step is we're gonna open our C drive, then go to Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, MX bikes, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to install Max HUD. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and unzip our Max HUD installation, open it up. So you take the max HUD data, drag it in. Take the max HUD MXB64 DLO, drag that in. Once you've dropped both those files in, go ahead and take them both and drop them into the plugins folder and then close it. Finally, we're gonna wanna go ahead and restore all those mods from earlier. So let's go back and open that C drive. We'll go to users this time, crossover, Documents, and you'll see a Poboso folder. Go ahead and open that. Go to MX Bikes, and you'll see Profiles, Mods, Cache, etc. Now, I've already taken this folder, and I've linked it up with my sidebar, but you'll want to go ahead and do that as well if you haven't right now. Just take it like this. And then we'll go back to our MX Bikes backup. I am going to drag all of these in. So that'll be Mods, Profiles. Drag those in, apply to all, we'll replace, trainers. And then I'll also drag these all in, and all these are our max HUD settings. Finally, if you want that nice icon for your MX Bikes logo in the bottom hand corner, like you've seen in my other videos, which I will leave for free in the description, by the way, go ahead and go to download. And all you have to do 
is go back into crossover, go to MX Bikes and drag it out. Go to Get Info, and here there will be an original. Copy that entire file path, select it, Command C, go and open up Finder, then Command Shift G, and paste it in, hit Enter. Go ahead and right click or two finger touch, go to Get Info, then take that app icon that you've downloaded from my description, go ahead and drag it all the way onto here. You'll see it take place, you'll see it take place. You can put it right back on with that new app icon. Let's go ahead and start our game MX Bikes. It should take a little bit longer on your first launch, so don't stress. Looks like everything's running well. I'll go ahead and hop in a testing lobby just to make sure. I can see all my Max HUD loading up. If you've never installed Max HUD, you'll go on ahead and hit Caps Lock, and that will open up this Max HUD menu where you can control everything about this. I'll hit Caps Lock again to close it. I had problems with my gamepad the very first time I plugged it in, so if you have issues within your Xbox controller to recognize, just be a little patient. There we have it, game's working great. I really hope this helped. I know a lot of you were messaging me because the past two days there was an MX Bikes update which broke all of our installations on Steam Whiskey MX Bikes. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions or go to that mxmobilesim.com, join our Discord and you can ask me some questions there. I am more than happy to help. Uh, my name is Jim. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment if it really helped you. See ya.